The Unicore drill is the only three-in-one drill on the market that can create the space needed to place a fiber post and remove it for retreatment purposes without needing to purchase any additional drills or equipment. The unique heat-generating tip allows for easy removal of gutta percha, rigid carriers, and fiber posts. The Unicore drill is durable enough to remove gutta percha or rigid carriers for up to 15 post preparations. It can also be used up to five times for fiber post removal procedures. Let's walk through the procedure for using the Unicore drill to remove a rigid carrier to prepare for post placement. Determine the length of the canal and the approximate post size by comparing a Unicore drill to the radiograph. Use a round burr to remove the coronal obturation material down to the canal orifice to provide a pilot hole for the Unicore drill. It's important to note that Unicore drills do not bend and are only intended to remove obturation material from straight line portions of the canal. The size 0 to 3 Unicore drills run at 20,000 RPMs in a 1 to 1 ratio low speed latch. The size 4 Unicore drill is the only one that runs at 5,000 RPMs. Always have the drill running full speed while entering, preparing, and exiting the tooth. When working with rigid carriers, always start with the largest Unicore drill that will enter the filled canal without engaging any peripheral dentin. Place the drill in the center of the rigid carrier and then run the drill at 20,000 RPMs. After a few seconds, the heat generating tip will begin to melt the carrier. Proceed down the canal until you feel the drill engage the dentin sidewalls. Immediately remove the drill from the canal while still running at a high RPM. Select the Unicore drill one size smaller than the drill used to enter the canal. Insert it to the stopping point in the canal created by the previous drill and proceed to remove more of the rigid carrier until you again engage the sidewalls of dentin. Take a radiograph to measure the current depth. If you need additional length, repeat with a larger Unicore drill using the next smaller drill until you achieve the desired depth. The last drill you use during the removal procedure will be the proper size of the post needed to bond into the canal. The Unicore drill may be used for up to five procedures to remove existing fiber posts. Before we demonstrate the procedure, please note that the size zero Unicore drill is not appropriate for fiber post removal. Once you have gained access to the fiber post, use a round burr to create a pilot hole in the center of the post. This pilot hole will prevent the drill from skating off the post surface since the ends of the Unicore drill is not designed to cut. Place the rubber stops on all Unicore drills at the appropriate length of the existing post by comparing them to the X-ray. Place the number one yellow Unicore drill into the pilot hole. Begin rotation at 20,000 RPMs and begin pushing the drill into the post. After 10 to 15 seconds, the heat generating tip of the drill should begin to create fillings and dust from the post. Continue to follow the post with controlled hand pressure at the full 20,000 RPM speed. When you reach the end of the post, the drill will punch through into the gutta percha and it will feel softer. Remove any debris with the tryaway adapter and high volume suction, then recheck your post space depth. Follow with the number two red Unicore drill. Remove any debris with the tryaway adapter and high volume suction, then recheck your post space depth. Continue increasing the drill size until you reach the point where the drill is surrounded by cement and dentin, which will feel softer than the post. Use a rubber stop to indicate the length of the existing post and confirm with a radiograph. For more information on the Unicore drill or any of Ultradent's other products, call 800-552-5512 or visit ultradent.com.